Hi, it's Rebecca, and for today I have my March book haul. I'm sorry I didn't have a video posted last week because I was in Chicago on Sunday and I wasn't able to film anything, but today I have my book haul for you and I hope you enjoy it. For this month I bought a total of nine books, so I didn't go as crazy as I did last month, but I bought a few books that I want to share with you guys, so let's just get into it. The first book I have is The Screwtape Letters by C.S. Lewis. I have always wanted to read this book and when I found it at my bookstore at school I had to buy it. I have started the audio drama a few times but I never actually finished it so now since I have the physical copy of the book I might actually read it now. If you know anything about the Secret Tape Letters, it is a series of letters between Satan and one of his uh, minion demons named Wormwood so I feel like that sounds like a really interesting book. And so I'm just really excited to read it. Next two books I bought at Half Price Bookstore when I went to Chicago. I love that bookstore so much. I heard about it from Sasha over at Wikitopia. And I had to go there when I went to Chicago. And I love the bookstore. It was so big, so beautiful. And I found some books for a really good price. So I just had to buy them. The first book I have is Red Queen by Troy Aveyard. This is the first book in the Red Queen series. And if you don't know anything about this book, it follows our main character, Mir, who is just living her normal life in the stilts when she discovers that she has magical powers. After disrupting a ceremony that the Silvers are hosting, she is punished by having to marry the prince. And this book is just filled with love, mystery, and intrigue, and it's just a really good series. And I'm glad to have the first one now. The next book I have is Linger by Maggie Stiefvater. This is the second book in the Shiver Quartet. I'm not exactly sure what this book series is about. I know it's about werewolves, but since it's by Maggie Seawater, I know it has to be good. I found it for a good price, so I just had to buy it. The last book I got from Half Price Books is The Scorpio Races by Maggie Seawater. I go into too much description on this book because I have a review of it on my blog, which I will leave linked down below for you guys. But this is, and this is actually the UK cover. And I'm not sure why it was at a U.S. bookstore, but I actually like this cover a lot more than the U.S. cover. So, U.S., the U.K. got to beat on this one. It's just Maggie Seawater. So, that should be all that you need to know, that it's by Maggie Seawater. So, that's all you need to know to make you want to read it, because she's amazing and I love her. What I bought is Weathering Heights by Emily Bronte. Emily Bronte is the sister of Charlotte Bronte, who wrote Jane Eyre. And I'm not exactly sure what this book is about, but I know that it's gothic and I love gothic literature. I read it whenever I can. And I love classics and I want to be uh, and I want to read more classics. So the next book I got is Number of the Stars by Lois Lowry. I mentioned this book in my top five books from my childhood video, which I'll leave linked down below for you guys. But this book follows our main character, who is a Jewish girl during World War II. And because of Hitler's prejudices, she has to flee her country. And I really enjoyed this book as a kid. And when I found it at my bookstore, I had to pick it up. The book I bought is The Son of Neptune by Rick Riordan. This is the second book in the Heroes of Olympus series. The first one being The Lost Hero. And if you don't know anything about this series, um, it is a Roman mythology series that follows Percy C. Jackson and the Olympians. It has... Uh, some of the main characters in it, but it also has new characters from Camp Jupiter, which is the Roman camp, and I really just enjoy this series, and I was grateful that I could find this book for a good price at my bookstore, and you know, I own books one through three, and I can't wait to find books four and five. So The next book I have is The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. I already had a copy of this book, but it didn't look very nice, so when I found this better copy at my bookstore, I wanted to buy it, so now it will look better with my beautiful cover of the Lord of the Rings. Now I own beautiful copies of both The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings, which I'm really happy about because this book series is very good and I love both of them. And the last book that I got is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows by J.K. Rowling. Now I own every single Harry Potter book and I'm really happy when I saw this at the bookstore I was like, oh my gosh, yes, I have to buy this book. Like, even though it's hardcover and all my other ones are paperback, I didn't care because it's Harry Potter and I love it so much. And, oh my goodness. I could, like, kill someone with this book. It's so heavy. Like, it's so big and heavy, but I, but I won't kill anybody with it because they would get blood on my beautiful copy of Harry Potter. And that's unacceptable. But now I want every single Harry Potter book and I'm so happy. Here's all the books that I bought in the month of March. 
It was not very many, but this is, stack is very heavy because of Harry Potter. So thanks Harry Potter for making this stack of books heavy. Just building my muscles. Yes, that is my March book haul. Let me know in the comments below which books you got in the month of March. And, when, and until my next video, happy reading.